Hey guys, it's Dave from Kodo, and I'm uh, back with another tutorial today. I'm going to go over making a tree farming cart from Steve Carts 2. Now, the first thing you're going to need is the cart assembler. Uh, this is put together very cheaply. Simple PCB. You're going to be making a lot of these, so get these up and ready to go. But you'll need, uh, that's the recipe right there. Uh, initially, it doesn't really need electricity tied to it but it has a huge uh, interface, so you're going to have to change your UI if you usually play on the larger UI. But uh, it will require coal, the coal a little bit down here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to make a hull. Now, depending on the type of cart you're making, uh, the hull is going to be uh, specific. The wooden hull does not, uh, does not cut it for the tree the tree farming cart. I usually go to the standard haul. Now, if I go to the recipe of the standard haul, it's not that much like more expensive than a wooden haul, so what iron wheels are just this. So we're gonna grab a we're gonna grab one of these guys. There we go. Grab one of those guys. We're gonna open this up. The standard haul is gonna go right here. So now you can see control over this, I can move it around, I can do whatever I need. So now pretty basic what's going to happen here. Yeah, you can see that depending on the hull that you choose, you can have uh, certain attachments, certain storage, and certain add-ons. We're going to start right at the top and go with the engine. Engines we can choose from, coal engine, solar engine, uh, there's compact solar engine. Now these are going to get more expensive in compl complexity. The coal engine is one we're going to go with right here. Very cheap to make. Take that coal engine, put it in the engines. You can see it's a little thing right there. Now the tool, I think you can just search for tool. Yep, there we go. It's basic wood cutter, hardened wood cutter. Uh, anything with that type tool at the bottom is going to be part of Steve's carts. Uh, we're going to go with the basic wood cutter. For the purpose of this demonstration, they get more expensive and more complex. Saw blades are created using diamonds and the wood cutting core it's just some samplings around an advanced PCB which is some more of those simple PCBs take the basic wood cutter put it in the tool section now he's got his little cutter on the front now the attachments <clears throat> not something that you necessarily are going to need for a tree farm cart uh, rail <laughs> A railer, a bridge builder, torch placer, that kind of thing. Not really gonna need these for uh, the the tree cutting cart, but uh, interesting to look into, and you can kind of mess around with them to see what you want to add on to future carts. <clears throat> Storage is gonna be very vital. Oops. Now, the storage is going to come into play depending on how big your uh, cart track is. If it's small, you can go with only just a couple of side and top chests. You have to remember, though, like if you put a front chest on, it's going to affect uh, some of the other modules modules, or some of the attachments around. So you have to pay attention to that. Uh, we want to grab internal storage, and uh, we'll probably grab the top chest, too. These are very cheap as well. Chest pane, which is just regular wood with some planks and then uh, the chest lock is just iron over stone <clears throat> so we're going to take internal storage put it there top chest put it there and you see it gets a little chest on the top obviously you can't see the internal storage now add-ons this is going to come into play uh, depending on the type of cart you're making but uh, you can add right here an exotic tree add-on so you can hit more than just the vanilla trees, entity detector, that kind of thing. Nothing that we're gonna really need right now, so we're gonna we're gonna skip that for this demonstration. Let me make it daytime. I'm gonna grab some coal. Now, fuel goes here, and you can see it powers up. Depending on the complexity of the cart and the amount of time it's going to take, see this is going to take 16 minutes, it's going to use more fuel. So, 
uh, what you're going to want to do is put a, uh, a hopper right on the top in case you need more fuel and more time. Uh, for the time being, what we're going to do now, we're just going to hit assemble. And it's going to start making it. Everything goes away, everything locks up, so you can't really do anything inside of here because it's making the, the cart. <laughs> While that's going, we're going to get another couple of things going here. There's a cargo manager and liquid manager, depending on the type of cart you're making. We're going to need the cargo manager. <clears throat> now this does have an interface uh, with a couple of different sides depending on where the cart's going. We're going to choose the red side, so we're going to change these all to red. Now that's going to be, the track is going to come by, oops, the track is going to come by this way. So going to go by this way and it's going to stop right here on the red side. So what it's going to do is anything that's in the cargo manager that can be used as fuel is going to go into the engine bay's fuel. If you click the arrow it'll go from the cart into the cargo manager. So anything that's in the cargo manager will go into the car anything that's in the cart will go into the cargo manager. Now these we're going to switch here. So anything in the cargo manager that matches uh, saplings, we're going to sapling slot. And we're going to switch this to engine as well. Uh, if you have it as all slots going from the cargo manager into the cart, then anything that's in here will just dump back into the, into the cart, which is annoying. Now the last part we're going to need is an advanced detector rail. This is very cheap to make. You can actually get two of them. But that is what is going to stop the cart in front of the cargo manager. Uh, we need some rail. Right there. Track. Sorry. Now these in uh, the Feed the Beast mod pack are semi-expensive. So you want to just go find that abandoned mine shaft and collect them that way. Now, like I said, you can make your rail uh, any any size you want, as long as you have the fuel to maintain the movement as, and the uh, inventory space. Uh, what you will want is at least one space on each side of the rail, because he's going to plant a tree right next to the rail. So let's get some saplings. Oops. And we're going to go with just the standard oak saplings. Check on this guy. So he's only got a little bit of progress gone. He's got 13 more minutes. We're going to let that go, and then we're going to come back. All right. Just finished. Used up a decent amount of energy. You can see the cart has been created. You're going to pull it out of the inventory. We're going to bring him over here, place him down. Now when we open them, put the saplings here. Anything, this is internal storage. It's the top storage, and obviously if you have side storage and front storage, you'll have more. Uh, the fuel is going to be here, so we're going to get some oops, some coal. Bam. Now, he'll use wood or saplings for fuel if he needs it. Uh, if you put a um, solar engine on him, obviously he won't need that. But what he's going to do is he's going to traverse all the way around here. He's going to place down these saplings. He's going to wait for them to grow. Fertilizer is an option for an add-on to make them grow a little quicker. But he's always going to stop right here. He's going to dump off and he's going to move on. And if I get some bone meal, we can help along one of these trees. There we go. You can see what he does when he gets to it. So now he's stopping at the cargo manager. He's going to dump off everything and take everything he needs for fuel. You can see that includes saplings. He'll he'll provide himself with enough saplings, don't worry. So he gets to the tree, chops it down, cuts down the wood, and puts another sapling down. And he got saplings from that tree, so he's using those. Simple... Uh, tree farm and he'll just continuously run until he runs out of space and probably will continue after that 
but very simple to make. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, for this one, the resources weren't that expensive except for the cutter. You need uh, at least five diamonds. So uh, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Uh, if it's something that uh, you want to see some specific ones later on, let me know. And I'll make uh, specific tutorials for spe uh, Steve Cart's carts. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I am Dave. Like always, good luck and have fun.